Okay guys, today we're going to be doing a video that's a little bit different and we're going to be talking about bushcraft wares as opposed to bushcraft tools. And we're actually going to be talking about, so the pair of pants that I wear to bushcraft, practice survival, and overall adventure in the wilderness. And we're going to be talking about both the ventilated version and the non-ventilated version of the Fiel Raven Vita Pro pants. Now, here of late I've been rocking these pants for a good many trips going out into the woods and really running them, putting them through their pace, seeing if I can find a really good replacement to my old tried and true Carhartt cargo work pants or ripstop cargo work pants. And I think that these are a really solid option, albeit maybe a little bit on the high end, but I will explain a little bit too how it doesn't have to be that way. So first of, first of all, going over the features. Now, it's kind of hard to go over the features of both of these pants because even though they're both Vita Pro pants, the ventilated and the non-ventilated versions are different in their own ways. The ventilated obviously have vents on the side so you can open them up, let them breathe a little bit more if you need that. They also have a kind of spandex or mesh uh, material through the kind of crotch going almost down to the thighs really down to like the knee and that allows you to have increased mobility when you're you know, moving your leg up higher or doing kind of more strenuous tasks just having that level of uh, fabric that really stretches as opposed to having a fabric that doesn't stretch definitely makes the uh, pants a little bit different. In addition to that, they also have a different pocket layout. So they have the same cargo pant pockets, but on the standard Vita Pros, they have an incorporated pocket more on the left leg that allows you to carry something like a hatchet with greater ease. Whereas on the ventilated Vita Pros, which I'm wearing right now, they have a side pocket here that's designed, it can fit other things, but it's designed for Mora knives. Uh, so your different types of like Mora knife companion or the uh, fire steel version of the companion or other knives like that. It's actually specifically designed to work with those knives. But once again, you can see I have a Baco Laplander in there, so it can fit other things. And what I actually like about the ventilated a little bit more is because it has this pocket here, I can carry my Baco Laplander over here. And the ventilated has still a kind of um, almost Carhartt-esque hammer loop on the back right here so you can see I can still carry my hatchet right there and have and have pretty ample room for a saw right there so it works out either way I can get the same generalized loadout out of both pants just a little bit different in addition to that it also has another um, another difference between the ventilated and the standard is the amount of belt loops so on the ventilated version there's six belt loops, whereas on the non-ventilated, there's eight belt loops. So a little bit of difference there, but those are the primary difference between the two. Aside from that, I like both of them really equally, especially for the summer. Honestly, neither pant breathes very well, even with the vents open. So they don't breathe very well, but... But that's not necessarily a problem. For me, I don't really like pants that breathe that well because I found through being out in the woods, you know, pants that are very open and breathable allow a lot of bugs, a lot of thorns, a lot of garbage in. So having a pant that has a nice, nice tight woven uh, material really helps keep everything out from you. And that's what you ultimately want out here because I would rather take a sweaty body than to be bitten up by mosquitoes and uh, stuck by thorns and have to rip thorns out of my clothes because they get stuck in there. So, you know, there's pros and cons to both, but ultimately this is a pretty good setup. So aside from that, other things that I like about these pants are that the cargo pants are very well done. Um, this side, your left side, has a double kind of pocket. So you have a normal cargo pocket here and then kind of an extension cargo pocket up and they're broken into two different, uh, like, uh, they're broken into two different flaps. So there is a pocket here and a pocket here, and the upper pocket is runs the full length of the secondary pocket as well. So there's a lot of space for cargo pocket on this side, and there's still a pretty good amount of cargo pant pocket on this side. Sorry, cargo pant uh, space here as well. 
And like I said, that's not even mentioning the uh, extra kind of pocket for carrying gear or the gear loop. Other things I like about these pop or these pants is that down here at the brim or maybe at the end of the shoe, you have um, a hook that you can hook into your shoes. So I don't currently have it, but or I don't have it currently set up, and I usually only set it up if I'm going to be hiking. But you have a hook that can hook into your shoelaces, and it helps keep the front of your pants down and tucked onto your shoe. And of course, the actual end of the shoe or shoe. The end of the pant has a collar that can be tightened or loosened depending on what fitment you need. And once again, that seems like a small feature, maybe even arbitrary feature, but when you're going through thick brush, and especially thorns, having your pants stay with your shoe or down very low can help keep stuff out and keep your pants, or sorry, keep your uh, keep things like thorn bushes from coming in and stabbing you through your sock and you know stuff that seems small but actually does happen quite a bit. So aside from that it does have of course two front pockets. Now the probably the biggest thing I dislike about these pants is that these pockets are kind of a letdown these front pockets because while they are very wide uh, even maybe wider than Carhartt pockets they're fairly shallow. They only go, I would say, probably about four inches deep from the very top and at the very bottom, probably about, you know, three inches deep. So they're not particularly deep pockets. They end just below where this begins. So I was a little bit disappointed in that overall. I was wishing these pockets to be a little bit deeper because uh, I just, I feel like they're a little bit too short and they're almost too short for me to really put my hands in. So if I wanted to have my hand just hanging out here, you know, it's almost too short for that. So I'm a little bit disappointed in those, but overall the uh, pockets, I really can't complain about. There's ample room for gear storage and, you know, gear hanging. So if you want to put, you know, something on you like a hatchet or a saw, there's ample room and accommodation for that. Lastly, the material is made out of G1000, and that is a proprietary mix of like cotton, polyester, and uh, like spandex-ish kind of material that Fail Raven pioneered, and uh, the Fail Raven pioneered, and uh, it's an okay thing. Uh, what I do like about it is that it is a very tight woven material, so unlike things like Carhartt's or 511 tactical pants, this material is very tight and as a downside it's not as breathable as the other pants but it also does a very good job at repelling uh, the na repelling nature and keeping you pretty comfortable overall in addition to that just like or in addition to that similar to other pants you can also treat these they do come pre-treated with a level of what they call greenland wax which is the raven's proprietary uh, waterproofing, windproofing agent, and I do have some Greenland wax that I'm going to play around with, you know, making my uh, Vita Pros a little bit more waterproof, but at this current point, out of box, they will, having been in a few rainstorms with them, they do a pretty good job at repelling rain, so rain will land on them and shed off. They don't really penetrate, or rain doesn't really penetrate into the pants from factory, and of course, as I've mentioned in other videos, you know, that level of treatment will fade away as you wash your pants. So if you like that level of waterproofing, I would recommend getting more Greenland wax to treat your pants as they begin to fade. I don't wash these every day, but you know, it takes about 30 washings and then you have to uh, redo the Greenland wax. So anyways, that's something to keep in mind when it comes to the water and weatherproofing of these pants. As far as fitment goes, I will say the biggest thing I dislike is probably the fitment. And it's not that they fit bad, it's just that where I am personally in the size range for my body doesn't really correspond well to uh, European sizes. So I'm technically more of a 44 as opposed to a 30, or sorry. So I technically wear a 30 inch pant uh, in American but unfortunately the way that Fiel Raven sizes their pants a f this is technically a 44 which fits okay but that's like a 29 inch and their next size up is a 46 which a 46 is 
technically a 30, but it's a 30 slash 31. So it's really a large 30. So if I wear these pants, which are, I have them in both sizes, I have a 46 and a 44. So if I wear the 46, they're a little bit too big. If I wear the 44s, they're a little bit too small. And I'm not really complaining because I can really wear whatever. It's just that if you're looking for a really good fitment and you're in that same 30 inch waist range, you probably won't find a perfect fit for Fiel Raven pants because like I said, the only thing they have for a 30 inch waist is really a 31 inch waist. So it's a little bit on the big side. And like I said, their next step down is like a 29 inch waist. So it's a little on the tight side. Either, either way, like I said, I can't fully complain. These fit me just fine and uh, I don't really have any issues with it. And they look you know, just fine on me, but you know, just a thing to be aware of. And that is more of a personal thing. Once again, if you have, you know, 32 inch waist or if you have, you know, a larger waist or a smaller waist, you might be able to find a European size that fits better. But of course, like I said, Fiel Raven only makes these in European sizes. So you kind of get the raw end of the deal on that one. One thing I will give to Fiel Raven, <laughs> lastly on fitment though, is that unlike most other pant manufacturers that just make one size for the waist, uh, the, they do make, or they just make sizes for the waist and the inseam. Uh, Fiel Raven does make a you know waist and then they make a regular sized pant and then a long sized pant. So a typical issue for me with a lot of pants is that my legs do run long. So I have both of my Fiel Ravens are in the long size and I like the long size works really well for me. So I definitely enjoy the fact that they have a regular length and then a long length that just extends it a few inches more. Mm -hmm and that works a little bit better for me. So the fitment lengthwise is actually pretty good, but the uh, hips, I just can't find a really happy medium. So anyways, guys, that is all I have to say about the Fiel Raven Vita Pro pants. I will say in closing about the price on them, these are not cheap pants and they will never really be cheap per se. Fiel Raven does command higher price due to the build materials and the name. But one thing that I do like about Fiel Raven is that because a lot of their pants don't sell super fast due to their high prices, you can usually find Fiel Raven pants like these for well below their MSRP. These particular pants here from Fiel Raven, if I were to order them tomorrow, would be about $165 US, but I was able to find these same pants on Amazon for sale for $75. So you can get them for a really good price and so you can get them for a really good price. Now still some people might say $75 is a lot for pants, but being that I got nearly $100 off of these pants, I think I came out on top pretty well. And once again, I can't complain for $75. These are really good pants. So what I would do is watch sales, you know, know what your size is and periodically check back and see, you know, if your size is coming in or see if your size is for sale and you might have to go with an off color that might not be your favorite color but I was able to get these you know in a pretty attractive brown color kind of earthy tone for 75 bucks it wasn't my favorite color that they make but for the price you really can't beat it so overall guys that's what I would say uh, when you're looking for Fiel Raven pants look for sales they are out there and like I said not every pant at every size is constantly at sale but you can usually find pants for a pretty affordable price from them. So if you look on Amazon, you can usually find sales for some size and your size will eventually come on sale. I can almost guarantee. So anyways, guys, that's all I have to say about these Fiel Raven Vita Pros. Uh, I would highly encourage them if you can get them for a good price. They are really a great adventure pant, either the ventilated or the non-ventilated. I don't, I'm pretty impartial to both of them. They offer a lot of the same functionality. And like I said, the ventilated don't really breathe a lot more than the non-ventilated, but they're both pretty great. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.